toppers. We went over there with two toppers, one of them actually um, doing a little preliminary um, uh, circumnavigation of Barbuda to determine uh, whether or not uh, there are any other individuals who, you know, to be rescued. We're not exactly sure whether or not there may not be additional fatalities, but so far we only have one that has been reported. So as I said, it's an absolute devastation, and this is no hyperbole. As a matter of fact, been there, and you have the pictures to show exactly what the situation in Barbuda is like. Uh, in fact, it really indicated why they were unable to communicate with us, because even though they had a backup ham system uh, that was destroyed, they also had a satellite phone that too was made inoperable. So they had absolutely no way to communicate with us. And um, I have to admit that we wish we could have gone over sooner, but the um, helicopter operators indicated that it was too dangerous to have gone sooner. And that is why we only made it over this afternoon. Irma, almost difficult to imagine. And then you see this video and you realize just how potent this storm is. It is the strongest that we've ever seen on record in the Atlantic Ocean. And it continues to spin, fortunately, to the north of San Juan. Those hurricane strength winds extend about 50 miles from the center, but those 185 max sustained, they're a lot closer to the center there. So that's where you see the strongest winds. Now, unfortunately, we are seeing a tremendous amount of rainfall over Puerto Rico, which means that that flash flooding is one of our biggest concerns. The winds, yes, they're bad, but the flash flooding, a major concern there. You'll notice that the hurricane warnings extend on up into parts of the Bahamas. We also have hurricane watches beyond that for parts of Cuba as the storm continues continues to maintain its Category 5 status as far as the forecast goes through Friday evening at the very least, kind of hedging there between Cuba and the Bahamas before making a turn to the north. Now, I want to just say, yes, all of the Florida Peninsula is in this. It's not out of play yet. In fact, the error, whenever you get to days four and five, can be up to 225 miles. So I wouldn't even say the panhandle's out of play at this point. You're still looking at a very large storm, Category 3, cat all the way through Monday evening with this current forecast. You'll watch with, this, with these winds here, what they do. This is one forecast model going right over the Bahamas, north of Cuba, and then skirting the Florida coast. But again, that's one model. There's still a lot of time to watch and wait battering many of the Virgin Islands, the British and the U.S. Virgin Islands as well, and making its way closer towards Puerto Rico. At least the eye looks like it's going to stay north of the island and possibly north of Hispaniola as well. So not a ton of weakening expected as this thing makes its approach, continues its approach rather towards the west and northwest, closer towards Florida eventually. So the latest models still have this thing as a powerful hurricane, but models have shifted east, so the impacts for us are decreasing, although it's still not a done deal, still in the cone of uncertainty. And of course, we'll keep you up to date.